How's it going? Marinal here. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. Leave a comment if you want. Today we are pulling apart this Bose Lifestyle module. We're going to have a look inside. Anyway, let's turn it around. That's a side. That's a back. How cool is that? Whee! Alright, let's have a look. Alright, we've got speaker outputs, media center input, indication status LED, and a power connector. Bet you won't know what that does. Alright, let's get these screws out. Mm, nope, not that screwdriver. Alright, we got the proper screwdriver. Let's get these screws out. Dooch, 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 dooch. Anyway, I'm not going to put music on this. I'm just going to talk over it. Because um, some people find music annoying for some reason. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Screws are out. Alright, this just pulls away like that. It is actually meant to come away. So we're going to remove the system control and the two power connectors from the main board. And then we can have a look at the power amplifier chips for the main speakers. So they are an LM4766T 40 watts by 2 chip. And they power the cubes. There are three of them, which means the center speaker is getting double the power because it's bridged. More on that later. Let's keep going. Okie dokie. Now we're going to take out these six screws to get this back panel off. And so the wood size is about mm, three quarters of an inch, I'd say. It's particle board. And as you can see, there are four like metal posts, I think I call them, holding in the back panel. Uh, as you can see, the system control and the two power supply wires come out the side. And there's foam that you know, keeps the seal. Unfortunately that foam has deteriorated. Uh, no surprise there, this module is like 10 years old and it was, you know, near the beach. So that helps it deteriorate a lot quicker. Alright, screws are out, let's pull it out. Now normally to pull it out, there's a tab down the bottom there that you can see and you're meant to just pull on that, but I've got to be awkward, so I'm going to pull from the wires. Woo! Alright, and out she comes. So this holds most of the internal parts like power supply and amplifier but you can't see the power supply because it's mysterious that's some ASMR for you alright just gonna sit this down as you can see the foam on the inside is not too badly deteriorated alright so we've got the heat sink for the subwoofer amp and two discrete outputs this is well it's about a hundred watts output I can't tell you exactly and those are the wires going to the power supply on the front main board alright next Ooh. What's in this box? Mm, it could be anything. It could be cheeseburgers. It could be a little hamster powering the whole system. You just don't know. But with some magic of editing, all these screws are about to vanish. Watch this magic. And you can see me struggling with that screw. Boom! Look at that. So now we're going to have a look at what's behind this box. It's a transformer. Oh yeah, well, eh, surprise. <laughs> Had to put it somewhere, I guess. Anyway, it's quite beefy. I'd say it's 350 watts is quite good. Yeah, we can definitely do it. Good filtering, good size rail caps, and some glue on them. Yay! All right. Next. That's a woofer. <laughs> but yeah, it's got a nice beefy thick surround, and it hasn't deteriorated. Down there's a port, and there is the top of a driver. As you can see, that's a big motor. Quite well built. Sounds pretty good. That's the top port up there. It's a nice aero type slot port design. There's the bottom port, each are differently tuned for different frequencies, and the front port is boxed off with the two woofers inside. Basically, you know, it's a four folder design. All right. So, I'm going to start putting this box back together, and while I'm doing that in this video, I'm going to talk about those power chips, because a lot of people have asked, how many watts does it put out? Well, okay, so total harmonic distortion plus noise at 1 kilohertz is 2 by 30 continuous average output into 8 ohms at 0.1% distortion max. Or it will do total harmonic distortion plus noise at 1 kilohertz continuous average output power 2 by 30 at 0.09 that's typically so you got max which is you know what it's going to do it's worst case scenario or you got typical operation which so typical operation 2 by 30 at 0.09 pretty damn good 
If you up the input voltage, you can get 40 watts out of them. So yeah, the front cube, front cubes, rear cubes are using one channel of each. There's three of them, so each cube set gets one. So your front, left, right gets one chip, rear gets one chip as well. The center speaker gets its own damn chip. Lucky it, huh? And uh, yeah, so it's bridged operation, and yeah, so it gets 30 or well, no, it gets 60 or 80 watts. Sorry for that mistake. I'm not editing this out because this is my, my fifth take. And I'm getting tired. So, yeah, it's not overly bad. The total system wattage is 280 watts. <laughs> that doesn't sound like a big number, does it? But if you take into consideration, like, you know, you've got your big all-in-one home theater systems which claim 2,000 watts, 1,000 watts, none of them really do that number. And the easiest way to tell is the power consumption on the back. It may be like 150 watts. So you know you're not getting any more than 100 watts ever if you're taking efficiency. Where this, the transformer on this is 350 watts. The system's rare for 280 watts, which gives a little bit of leeway for like the lights, which the only light it has is the display and the indicator light. So I can believe it does 280 watts RMS, which, you know, day-to-day -day use, even when I crank it up in movies, more than enough. Trust me, this thing gets loud. And... A lot of people will say, like, the cubes are inefficient. They're not, because they're only on 30 watts. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this quick look at the Bose base module. Um, if you like the video, subscribe and hit that like button. Tune in next time when I open up my television. Thumbs up. Bye, guys. Du -du 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 -du.